Tim Legler is with us. Gabe Vincent did not play for the Heat. Uh, they're not sure if he can go in game six. The Gaucho from USB, a difference maker, maybe more so than people might think. And Tim, three point shooting a big deal. Yeah. Boston got warm in game four. And it continued over in the first quarter when they had seven. That was the difference at the end of the game. They were seven, having seven more threes in the heat. But, but how, how critical was that start and how they get them? Yeah, first three games, Boston was a minus 39 from the three-point line <laughs> relative to the heat. They're a plus 54 in the last two games. Wow. I mean, that's how they flipped this thing around. But this is Boston at their best. This is how they play. So anytime a team plays to their strengths, usually there's some mistakes made on the other side. So there's a little bit of both here going on. But this is early in the game. This is why this is important. You allow guys to get into a rhythm. Now, right here, I don't know why you're even blitzing this because the screen that Al Horford set was, was on this side of Jimmy Butler. I just don't see why there's no reason why Jimmy Butler can't just slide with Jason Tatum and now allow your teammate Kevin Love to drop a little bit but ultimately get back here. Because even if Jason Tatum were to turn a corner here, the Heat are in great position with two guys crowding the driving lane, but they don't do that. Instead, they get into this soft blitz. And the reason I call it a soft blitz, they don't really affect Jason Tatum's vision. And so he's looking down here along the baseline. And the reason that's important, you now freeze this backline defender. And that's going to play in, in a big way when Boston reverses this ball because you're going to have two guys on the weak side of the floor. If that's an aggressive blitz, Jason Tatum is 100% going to reverse this ball. Bam would know it, so he could leak now, and then that second guy could get over here. But because it's a soft blitz, everybody's sort of waiting around to see, and you see what happens. Bam tries to stunt on the weak side and guard two. You're not going to get there. And the reason that's important, Jalen Brown was three for 25 from the three prior to that shot. Now you give a guy struggling a wide open look that's going to set the tone for his night. Now here's the other thing, atypical, and this is Boston taking advantage. Jason Tatum gets his rebound. He is very casual. He's not in any hurry to get up the floor. But once he sees Jimmy Butler and Bam go into jog mode, in this game, by the way, 17, nine minutes in the third quarter, still plenty of time to come back. This is a typical the Heat effort. Jason Tatum starts pushing it. Both guys walk us. So Jason Tatum says, all right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and advance it. Just with that one pass, now you've got three guys behind the basketball, which means Marcus Smart is now going to push it into the gut, and he's going to engage his backline defender, and look what that leads to. He's got to make a choice. Exactly, and it goes one more swing to Jalen Brown. He's going to catch, swing through, doesn't settle, goes right to the rim, and you've got basically three Heat defenders. These two guys, chilling play, never get into it. Kyle Lowry doesn't want to be on a poster, so he doesn't even move. <laughs> and Jalen Brown, now a guy that has been struggling offensively, gets an easy three to start. Here's an easy dunk in transition, and that's just not close to good enough effort when you're trying to cut into a lead and close out a series. I can't wait to see Eric Spolstra watching that play in his film session mm -hmm. because that's not who the Heat are typically. And one win for Boston going home was enough for people to look at the math here and go, you know, they get this one. I mean, they got two or three at home. And, and, and this type of win now I think invites people to really entertain, is Miami in trouble? Are they? They're in trouble. There's no question they're in trouble. Look, I'm not ready to say they have no shot of winning these, you know, game six and ending the series. Mm -hmm. Here's why they're in trouble, though. You have guys now that are getting unleashed that were struggling. Marcus Smart was struggling. He has now found his offense. Jalen Brown, efficient tonight for the first time in the mm -hmm. series. Derek White, big production for them. He had n not been a guy, really, that had found his offense. So now Boston looks like the best version of what we saw this season. And look, it's been a wild roller coaster ride for them for the last several months. But now they've strung together back to back performances. That is them at their best on both ends. That's why you say, yeah, Miami's in trouble. And I think most people would agree they've got one shot now, I think, yeah. to win this series. I do not think they win a game seven on the road in Boston. So game six will be the deciding game for the Heat. They've got to end it. Brown, White, and Smart, 13 and 19 from three. But you did tell me this off air, and I want to make sure this makes air that if you believe in any coaching staff to clean up mistakes, it's who? It's Eric Sposter and Miami Heat coaching staff. They're going to pay so attention to detail in the film session with this. And the things they can clean up that I just pointed to, they had a lot of miscommunications mm -hmm. on their traps, on their rotations. It's just not really who they are. It's the one game. It kind of got loose from them defensively. They will clean it up. Boston is going to have to play a great game 
on both ends of the floor in game six to get that win. Boston's a three point favorite in game six on the road. Here's what I want you to know about this man right here. He could have done this at his home at the shore. He said no 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 it's way better when we're face to face like this. So he came down here got in his car. Now he's going to have to drive in Memorial Day beach traffic to go back home. But we appreciate your legs being with us and we'll see you in a week for game one of the finals. Got it. Can't wait. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN plus.